Hello and welcome to a brand new season of Lincolnshire Hot Pot. I'm Gary Panton and we have a new team with us, so you're going to be seeing some new faces over the coming months. In this week's show, we'll be talking to a local Grimsby resident about a special medal. And we'll be looking at what made these girls scream. Fire eating and stilt walking are two of the unconventional classes you can now take at the Toria Dance School. I've been teaching for seven years now and um, I decided that I wanted to progress and open my own school because then I can do more what I want to do and I wanted to do more of the singing, the ballet, tap and modern so it's more like an academy so just one, one thing, it's a bit of everything. I think um, the young ones, it obviously it keeps them fit and then when they get to like 12, 13 some of them tend to hang about on the street so I find that it, it gives them something to do instead of you know getting into trouble and things like that and it also gives them something to aim towards as well because we do examinations and the show so it gives them something to practice, something to look forward to. What's the best dance move you've learnt so far? Um, not sure, I like it all really. Why do you think this school is great? Because you can learn all new dances. What's the um, best dance you've learned so far? The clapping one. The clapping one. Then how, do, how, does, how does that go? You go, you jump up and down, you clap, and then you do a wiggle. I joined in some of the fun as the girls taught me some of their moves. <laughs> well, I'm absolutely exhausted after that workout. I don't know about you girls, but it's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from the Toria Dance Group. Bye! The project aims to get young people educated on how we used to live in the past. The Iron Age House was financed by the Lottery Heritage Fund and was built by volunteers and local businesses. We were sourced by Melanie and the LRAC, Lincolnshire Rural Activity Centre, to see if we could supply them with the materials to build the roundhouse. We got a shopping list basically off the internet which told us what we required and then she, she gave us a telephone call asking us if it we was something that we could do and we sourced the hazel from within the woodland because we've got areas of quite large amounts that need coppicing which has been very good for us to enable us to coppice it to regenerate new growth of hazel and then the oak has come out of plantations which needed thinning so it's all come from renewable resources. Uh, I like the Iron Age around us because it shows you how they used to live in the Iron Age and like how they constructed it. I think it's a wonderful construction, how it's been made is brilliant like they've used even three miles of rope and over 15 oak trees to construct the roof. It's just a brilliant creation. We're hoping to get some planning permission at this moment in time to build some accommodation here. Not Iron Age accommodation, I have to say it might be a bit against health and safety, but some accommodation up here. And um, so what we're planning to do is maybe run trips for people from even urban areas really, so they can come up and look at coppicing, they can look at, we do dry stone walling, can look how, I mean, they call it wattle the, and then endorming. So maybe do some activities that are related to, even look at how they used to thatch, because we've got the thatchers prepared to come up here and do some activities for us. Finally, the story all of our music fans have been waiting for. Our reporter went to see what all the fuss is with Bright Start. Now in its second year, it's a concert held to encourage young people to do well in their GCSEs. A host of big acts made their way to Grimsby, where over a thousand young revellers waited to see their favourite acts. Hi, I'm Josephine Glover and I'm at the Grimsby Auditorium for Bright Start 2006. <laughs> this year the concert is going to be headlined by Simon Webb, along with artists such as Matt Willis and new boy band Upper Street. <laughs> Do you know what? I couldn't even, I didn't even believe it because he was like, oh, you know you're opening today. And I was like, oh, really? I think um, education is probably the, the most important thing that we need to have as human beings, you know, going through life. And, um, you know, I think a concert like this, you know, is rewarding the kids on, on all their hard work. And, and also it's a reminder of where they could be in the next five to ten years. Brilliant. If they work hard enough for it. 
Okay, cool. And so you're going to be performing new songs, new single, well, new songs from your new album, Grace. Yes, I am. Um, coming around again. It's a very gospel sounding song. Yeah. What was the inspiration yeah. behind it? Um, just, just my background, really. Um, I went to church um, four days a week when I was growing up. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it was kind of like everyone sang in church. That was where I should say I learned to mine. Because, you know, you don't want to sing in church, do you? Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like that. But, um, you know, it was my, one of my backgrounds and I loved it. And I thought, why, why not put it into the, you know, my new album? Brilliant. Um, also, um, what's going on with your acting career? You were in Rolling With The Nines. Um, what are you doing next with the acting? Right now I'm just concentrating on music. Um, I'd love to do some more acting. A lot of stuff has come through. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's all about grace for me right now. And uh, who knows? Okay, brilliant. Thank you. Thanks ever so much. Thank you. <laughs> so now we know what those girls at the top of the programme are screaming for. Concert didn't look all that scary to me. Looks like they had a great time though. Uh, that's all we've got time for in this week's Lincolnshire Hot Pot. Join us again next time for more news and features from your area. So from all of us here at Hot Pot, goodbye. <laughs>